Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. I'm here at Communicasia 2012 and I'm pleased to be joined by Oliver Johnson of Point Topic. Oliver, what are the trends in broadband out in Asia? Well, Asia's growing more and more dominant, as has been the uh, trend over the last few years. And recently, China's become the most uh, populous IPTV nation. But the problem is, as you pointed out, capacity is an issue. You want five megabits, but you don't necessarily get it. So there's a challenge there to provision all the people that want to use this bandwidth with enough so that they can satisfy their own needs. So how do we cure this problem? Uh, money is a, is a big answer and Singapore's got plenty of that. And they're implementing some very good plans. It's a, it's a nice situation they're in. It's a planned economy. They have a relatively small area to cover with broadband. And they've got some very good regulations going forward. So I think you're going to see real advances here. Uh, over the next couple of years. The challenge will be extending that through the rest of Asia. Malaysia, Tele, uh, Thailand, and up through Vietnam and so on is still a big challenge to get broadband to the masses. But what is putting the most pressure on this bandwidth? It's video. It's always video. Video has dominated the internet since the year dots. Cable modems were invented in order to get TV out to the masses. DSL modems were invented in order to get TV out to the masses. And that's really what the consumer wants. They want to be able to watch what they want when they want it. So narrowcast over broadband is a great solution in that respect. The trouble is it uses a lot of bandwidth. So as more and more video gets used, more and more bandwidth is needed. And fiber optics and investment and regulation is working smarter, not harder all our components of making this possible. Now, we're here talking about Sat TV Week and this is what the interview's for. What about the satellite side? What impact is that having on broadband in sort of rural and remote areas? Well, much more in the, the Western Hemisphere actually. I mean, the, the big problem in Asia is rain fade with satellite. So, the old C-band and L-band and delivery of broadcast was great, but now that people actually want to have their own channel, so to speak, you need a KA band satellite up there. In Asia, there's only one at the moment. Now, as uh, time progresses, we'll probably see more, but satellite is a great way of provisioning the really hard to reach areas, where it's incredibly expensive to dig tunnels, or to dig trenches, and to put cable in. So satellite is a, a great solution for remote areas. There are challenges in particular Asian markets, but I think they'll be overcome in the next few years. Now, the Broadband Forum has released some recent figures. Um, what do they show? Increasing trend uh, in, in growth in broadband. You know, it's, it's an oasis in the desert of economies at the moment. Uh, 100 million lines have been added in the last 18 months, and that's accelerating even more. We'll go through a billion broadband lines before the end of the decade. So, we are seeing that broadband, which generates money for governments, for consumers, for operators is really a great place to put your money. What's going to be the main stumbling block to any progression on this broadband? Uh, it's regulation basically. We're, we're seeing in a lot of countries, Ethiopia, UAE, where they've actually banned things like voice over IP services and that's stifling growth. So really what you want is less censorship and more access to more services for consumers and we'll see whether all the markets in Asia actually are able to cope with that because there are, there are some places where they want to protect their incumbent telcos and keep their markets as they are but in the long term that's going to stifle growth so regulation will need to be looked at very closely. So just to finish off what are your predictions for these trends out here? Uh, well as I said a billion lines throughout the world uh, by the end of uh, the decade uh, China will continue to pull away from the rest of the world. You know, it's responsible for more than 40% of the net broadband additions every quarter, and that's growing. And Vietnam's coming on stream, and Thailand, and Indonesia. So we're going to see more and more dominance of the world market by the Asian sector. Excellent. Oliver, thank you very much. Pleasure.